Uh, with TTE A10, it seems like the power level on 93 isn't limited by the turbo itself. Is this correct? Do you plan to work on unlocking more power, or is it the limit for hybrids on pump gas? Literally what I was talking about with the guys before I came over here. Um, it, the, the turbo looks like it's got a little more in it. It's probably getting there on uh, just outright flow capabilities through the turbine housing. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, but it's not falling off yet. The, the, we're more limited by the hardware and the motor right now, as far as like you know, valve springs and that kind of thing. But that's also a factor of the restriction of the turbo too. So. If there's 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 more power there, we'll work on getting it. Um, but what that was on ninety three specifically. Oh, ninety three for no, ninety three. Ninety three. I'm sorry, I'm talking about outright power levels. No, ninety three is limited by octane. Yeah, yeah. There's only so much you can do on ninety one or ninety three. You just that it doesn't matter what motor you have. You could have, um, uh, you could have a an F one motor, and on ninety three. It's not going to make. It's not going to get one power. It's basically going to make about four or five hundred horsepower. You know, so the the amount of power you can make with a certain amount of displacement um, is going to be basically limited. It's it is octane limited. So from a two liter motor, you can make about X amount of power on ninety one. From a two point five liter motor, you can make about X amount of power. This is exactly why you see OEMs increasing displacement or numbers of cylinders. To, to create more powerful cars. If high octane fuel was a thing, you might see you know a factory BMW or Audi with a two liter making 750 horsepower. You, you never will um, unless there's some kind of big technology shift or paradigm shift where the efficiency of a gas turbojet engine motor can, can see levels that have never been seen before. You'll just never see a high horsepower four cylinder like that. And, you, and we've seen as the technology has improved with advanced and advanced engine management control, um, the fuel hasn't really changed in the last 20 years, but you know, we went from having two liters make about 200 horsepower to now two liters making sometimes 350, 400 yeah. horsepower from the factory. That's, that is kind of the upper limb of 90. And, and, you know, those advancements have mostly been, well, the advancements in the power output have been a factor, you know, directly related to that octane limitation. Now we're, uh, you know, injecting the fuel at the last possible yeah. moment so that it doesn't, you know, pre-ignite, detonate. Yeah. And, and so they, these are cause issues. That's detonation mitigation control yeah. strategies, yeah. Which, which have made huge differences. But uh, we may, yeah, who knows what's on the horizon, but we're probably in, in the range of emission returns. So that's why when Audi or BMW or Mercedes or Ferrari or Lamborghini want to make a more powerful version of a car, they increase the displacement or they add two more cylinders or four more cylinders or whatever. Um, so, you know, when, when we're looking at the TTA 10 on 91, it's making what 400 some horsepower. So, uh, so you, you, you could, let's say there's such a, such a thing as a TTE 1500. It's still going to make about 400. Yes. Yeah, it's it's going to have, you know, some V there'll be some VE changes and the cylinder pressures will change. Yeah. So you'll usually make a little bit. But it's not going to be that, you know, 800 horsepower yeah. more that the turbo could, in theory, support. Now, the beauty of E85 is it's cheaper than 91 octane, and it's virtually, uh, you know, it's octane unlimited. Very knock yeah. resistant. It basically doesn't detonate, and you can run about the same amount of timing as you can in a naturally aspirated motor. Th this, this is why E85 is so magical when it comes to making power. So it completely removes all the, the fuel octane limitations and truly allows the turbo and the motor and everything else now to, the limit is now raised substantially. Yeah. And then you're then limited by the volume of fuel versus- You're limited by the next things, but the octane is no longer it. And, and when you're talking about 91, it's, it's usually the limit is, is the fuel, especially once you've optimized the tuning. The factory will stay well below the limit because they're very, you'd have to have a very low output motor to be not yeah. octane limited with 